What's going on guys? Patrick here from PatrickMullenRealty.com and today I have a very exciting topic. I'm going to show you my top four places of where you'd want to live if you're moving out here to Oahu. I'm going to go over all the details, pros, cons, and even price points of homes if you're looking to buy. And again, this is just my personal opinion. Don't hate me if you don't like these places, but let's just see if it brings any value to you. So let's dive into it. Okay guys, so like I mentioned before, we're going to go over the top four places to live out here in Oahu. And the first place on the list, and actually my personal favorite, because it's where I live, is Kailua. Now Kailua was once a sleepy town and now has become extremely popular, not only for families, but also for tourists. So you will actually see a tons of tourists out here. We have lots of bike paths, so it makes it really easy to cruise around the beach area. We have beautiful, beautiful white sand beaches from Wani Kai to Kailua. And uh, the town is actually bustling a lot. It's grown a lot. We've got a lot of different restaurants, got big box stores like Target, and a lot of local stores as well. Some of my favorite are like Nalu, we have some microbrews. There's plenty to do when it comes to actual outdoor activities. We have tons of places for hiking. So you're on the Pillbox, Three Peaks. I mean, there's just a slew of different areas. And if you're, if you're an avid hiker, I would highly suggest using the app all trails and that'll help you know where they are and where to go and what to see. And we also have a slew of golf courses. I'm a big golfer, so I love golfing. It's a beautiful town and it has a lot to offer. Now, when it comes to purchasing a house out here, again, shameless plug, I'm a real estate agent, so I'm gonna discuss this. If you are looking to purchase a place out here, the median price for a home out here in Kailua is $1.2 million. Now, that's the median, that's right in the middle. Obviously, there's places that are six, seven million. And there's some you can find that are in the 850 to 900. Um, they're becoming a little bit more difficult to find, but they will be fixer uppers. And a lot of the homes out here, just so you know, are single walled. They're more of a local style building of a house. So just know that you know you are paying for the location and the actual house might be need some work depending on the price point that you're at. I mean, there's other places on the island, which I'll discuss later, that have a lot more bang for your buck. But in regards to location and beauty, Kailua, you have to pay for it. And there's a good reason for it. Everybody wants to live here and it's a beautiful place to live. So my number two spot for best places to live is Honda. Honolulu. Now, Honolulu is a great place to live if you are love of the city life and also the beach where you can get a combo of both, where you have tons of restaurants and things to do right there in town. And then you can also just go across the street and go surf Waikiki. And it's a great place for, you know, getting that mix of both lifestyles. You also have lots of activities as well, just like in Kailua, plenty of places to dive, snorkel, hike, tons of tours, because it's where a lot of the tourists are. So if you want to go on a tour and go see whales or dolphins or go on a fishing charter, it's all right there. And it's a nice little combo of both that city and beach life. Now, some of the cons, of course, are it's a little bit more hustle and bustle. It's where all of the basic business is getting done. It's where a lot of tourists are. And parking can sometimes be a bear. But if you have a place, parking is gold. So make sure that you find a place that does have at least one parking spot. But all in all, it's a great place for uh, living. And there's lots of outskirts suburb areas in Honolulu as well that have great options. Now in regards to living, if you're looking to purchase something in Honolulu, this is where you're gonna find a large amount of the condos. This is where a lot of skyscrapers are. So you can find condos as cheap as about 250, 300 and up. And I mean, they can go up to millions for penthouses. And then also there's single family homes that are usually in that 800 and up range. They're gonna be up a little bit more in the mountains than not just quite right in the city. So whether you're in Manoa or Palolo or up and up and up in the hills a little bit. Number three, Kapolei. Now, Kapolei is one of my favorite places, especially from a real estate standpoint, because you get so much bang for your buck. And I'll get into that for a second. But the great thing about Kapolei is it's becoming what we call the second city. They're putting a tram through there. And for my local people, you guys are probably going, yeah, right, we'll see when I get done. Yeah, right, yeah. right, yeah. On, it's a joke that you'll learn, but it's something that's been working on. Don't know if it's ever gonna get done, but the city is growing from an economical standpoint. There's lots of more commercial buildings going in there, lots more residential developments happening. So it's a great growing community and great growing economical system. So it's a great place where you can get the most bang for your buck when you're looking to purchase a home. Now, you also have tons of big box stores. You have the water park, you've got Ko'olina, uh, just right down the street if you want to get that resort feel tons of golf courses you've got the nearby hospital hmsa kaiser and like i said before pretty much all the box stores you pretty much need costco home depot lowe's all of those places all in that one place so it makes it really convenient and not having to drive all the way to town to go shopping for all of your necessities now when it comes to purchasing a home out here in couple like i mentioned before kailua you're gonna pay a pretty dime and you're gonna have to fix things up because you're paying for the location now couple is growing but you do get a lot of bang for your buck because it's a newer city and a lot of developers have come in and created lots of developments. So you can find a great three bedroom, two bath, single family home 
in about that 750, sometimes in that 650 range, but it's usually between 650 and 850. They're gonna be double walled, a lot of them off central AC. They'll be newer, built in the 2000s compared to built in the 40s, 50s, or 60s, like here in Kailua. And a couple other small tidbits about Kapole that it offers that a lot of the other islands don't offer. There's only specific areas out here in Hawaii with a lot of carports. So I have a lot of clients, friends, and family who love to have a garage, and that can be hard to come by, but out in Kapole, Eva area, a lot of those homes do have garages so that if you want a man cave. Welcome to my man cave. Where you want to put all your toys or if you have lots of things you need to store, that's always nice to have an actual garage. Now keep in mind, like I mentioned before, we do have these developments. So sometimes you'll get these single family homes that are very single family home field, but they're actually in a development, so they will have an HOA. And those HOAs can range anywhere from $32 to $650. So it really depends on what you get. So number four is Mililani Malka. So Mililani Malka was actually started in the 1960s and then they actually redid a lot of that area in the 1990s. So we do get this 90s kind of feel when it comes to the homes, but we have 42 schools. It's an absolutely great place if you have kids because the school system out there is amazing, as well as lots of big box stores and local stores. So you don't have to drive too far. If you are in the military, it's close to a lot of the military base. You do get a nice amount of rain, which is nice. It keeps everything nice and cool and green. And they have a great rec center in Milan Malco where they've got a heated pool, a rec center, indoor basketball, volleyball, just everything that you need for you and your family, which is an amazing amenity that's given to the Milan community. And lastly, a lot of the properties out there, you get gorgeous views, you usually get a good sized yard, which is really nice and hard to find out here in Hawaii. And all in all, it's a very family oriented neighborhood. So it's a great place, especially for your families out there. So if you're looking to purchase a home in Milani, which is a great, great community that is definitely growing and the stats show that that's true. So we can see that it's actually grown. So we can actually see that the median sales price has gone up 24% from the same time last year from 755 to 935 for a single family home. Now on the flip side, if you are looking for a condo, the condo market recently hasn't grown as much as the single family home market. So it's only up 1%. So you, there are a couple condos that you can purchase and the median sales price for a condo right now in 2021 is $427,000. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Those are my top four choices of places to live out here in Oahu. I will be making more videos showing my different choices for different places for different types of people. But that was my first video I wanted to show and share with you. If you guys have any questions or or I would love to know what is your favorite place do you love to live in Hawaii? Comment down below what your favorite place is and why. And maybe I'll make a video about it as I'd love to make some more videos going over each neighborhood to help educate people who are looking to move out to Hawaii or buy something out here in Hawaii. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. If you guys could do me a huge, huge favor, it really helps with the algorithm and shows me that you guys actually appreciate this content that I'm pumping out. If you could smash that like button because it really, really helps as well as click the subscribe and little bell notification so you guys can get notified whenever I drop new videos. Anyways, guys, you guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.